Coffee Break Spanish Lesson 7 Buenos dias, how you do? We got something for you A bit of Spanish you can try It's not hard, now don't you cry Mas cerveza, por favor Un cafecito, I want more No haggis here, I hope that's fine Just a bit of Espanol online Espanol You're in control Just be resilient Learning Spanish is dead brilliant Just be prepared Mark and Kara will take you there Now you're on a roll Hola a todos. ¿Qué tal? Welcome to Coffee Break Spanish, where you can learn Spanish at your own pace with our podcast. Como quieras, donde quieras y cuando quieras. You can listen to Coffee Break Spanish however, whenever and wherever you want. Yo me llamo Mark y soy profesor de español. Y yo me llamo Cara y yo soy estudiante de español. I'm the learner and you can learn along with me in the next 15 minutes. Two of the Spanish words you've already heard in our introduction will be coming up again later in this week's lesson, because today we're talking about jobs. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to say where you work, give some detail about what your job involves, and you'll be able to say if you like your job. Of course, if you don't work, or if you've not started working yet, then we'll include some phrases to keep you involved. Remember that learning a language is about acquiring vocabulary and using it, so it's useful to learn all the words, even if they don't apply to you. Let's get on with the show. Ya. Yeah. ¿Estás lista, cara? Sí, Mark. I'm ready. Estoy lista para aprender español con Coffee Break Spanish. Coffee Break. Coffee Break Español. So, over the past few weeks, we've been learning how to introduce ourselves and say a few things about ourselves, like, for example, where you're from and talk about your family. Today, we're going to add to this by learning to talk about our jobs. Now, the first word that we're going to use here is the word that we've already come across when we were talking about where we're from. So, for example, Cara, can you remember how to say, I am from Scotland? Soy de Escocia. Soy de Escocia. So, the word for I am is? Soy. Soy. And this word, soy, is what we're going to begin with using for I am a teacher, for example. Let's start then with that phrase. I am a teacher. Soy profesor. Soy profesor. Soy profesor. Soy profesor. Now, you'll probably be able to work out already that soy profesor means I am teacher. In Spanish, you don't need to say the word for a when you're talking about jobs. Soy profesor. Soy profesor. Now, this works exactly the same way as in French. Je suis professeur. Soy professeur. Now, Cara, you've been saying soy professeur, but in actual fact, if you were a teacher, you wouldn't say professeur. You would use the feminine form, and that is professora. 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 So, how would you say, I am a teacher? Soy professora. Soy professora. Soy profesora. Muy bien. Now, I'm the teacher here, Cara, you're a student. So to say student, you say estudiante. 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 Muy bien. Estudiante doesn't change regardless of whether you're a male or female student. So, soy estudiante. Soy estudiante. I am a student. Let's just practice that D sound in the middle of the word estudiante. 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 Muy bien. In Spanish, when you're using the letter D, you've got to try to make sure that your tongue comes in between your teeth. In English, when we say the word dad or dog, your tongue actually goes behind your teeth and up towards the hard palate of your mouth. So in Spanish, you've got to bring your tongue down and push your tongue in between your teeth so you get a much softer th sound. Th. Th. Estudiante. Estudiante. And not estudiante. Okay, listen to the difference. Estudiante. Estudiante. And the same happens with the T. So estudiante. Te. Diante. Estudiante. Perfecto. 
Now, when we are concentrating on on very small parts of of pronunciation like this, you might think, oh, we don't need to learn all these. We don't need to really know all these intricacies of Spanish pronunciation. But it is really important because it will help you sound better when you're speaking in Spanish. Okay, so we've got profesor. Profesor. Or the female version, profesora. Profesora. Estudiante. Estudiante. The student, which is both the, the same for female and male students. Let's learn another word. This is a quite a tricky one. Ingeniero. 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 Muy bien. Ingeniero. 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 Now, ingeniero means engineer. Ingeniero or a feminine version. Ingeniera. Ingeniera. Muy bien. Ingeniera. Ingeniera. Okay, so can everybody try to repeat these words? Okay. Ingeniero. Ingeniero. Ingeniera. Ingeniera. Profesor. Profesor. Profesora. Profesora. Estudiante. Estudiante. Muy bien. Cara, how would you say, I am a student? Soy estudiante. Muy bien. You remember that it was soy estudiante and not soy un estudiante or una estudiante. How would you say, I am an engineer? Soy inge ingeniera. Soy ingeniera in your case. Soy Ingeniera. Muy bien. Muy bien. Some of these words really are quite tricky. Let's learn a couple of other words. We are going to go on to abogado. 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 And abogado is a lawyer. Abogado. Abogado. And if you're a female lawyer, then you would be abogada. Abogada. Okay, you can actually hear the word advocate in there. We use the word advocate in, in the UK quite a lot for particular types of lawyers. So, abogado. Abogado. Muy bien. Abogado or abogada. Abogada. Muy bien. Now, you may be a plumber. A plumber in Spanish is somebody who works with fountains. Fontanero. 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 Muy bien. When you say the E sound of the fontanero, try to open your mouth wide. Fontanero. Fontanero. Muy bien. Or if you were a female plumber, fontanera. 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 Muy bien. You may also be ama de casa. Ama de casa. Ama de casa. Ama de casa. Ama de casa means a housewife. Soy ama de casa. Soy ama de casa. Soy ama de casa. Soy ama de casa. Muy bien. So we have estudiante. Estudiante. Abogado. Abogado. Or abogada. Abogada. Profesor. Profesor. Profesora. Profesora. Fontanero. Fontanero. Fontanera. Fontanera. Ama de casa. Ama de casa. Ingeniero. Ingeniero. Ingeniera. Ingeniera. Muy bien. And hopefully you've all been repeating along with Cara to practice your pronunciation of some of these words. Now, the question that you might be asked to find out what you do is ¿En qué trabajas? ¿En qué trabajas? Literally, in what do you work? En qué trabajas? En qué trabajas? Trabajas. 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 Muy bien. En qué trabajas? En qué trabajas? En qué trabajas? In what do you work? Also has a formal version because that's the informal version. And the formal version is En qué trabaja usted? En qué trabaja usted? ¿En qué trabaja usted? ¿En qué trabaja usted? Muy bien, usted. 
Usted. Usted. Usted. ¿En qué trabaja usted? ¿En qué trabaja usted? Okay, so Cara, I'm going to ask you the question. I'll ask you informally. And can you answer the question about what your job is? Yes. ¿En qué trabajas, Cara? Soy estudiante. ¿Y tú? ¿En qué trabajas? Yo soy profesor. Now, when I answered that question, I said, yo soy profesor. I could just have said, soy profesor, meaning I am a teacher. But in this case, I was trying to put some stress on the word I. I am a teacher. Yo soy profesor. And yo is the word for I. You don't need it when you're saying, I am. You can say, soy. And soy means I am. But when you want to put extra emphasis on it, you say, yo soy. Yo soy. Okay, so if I said, yo soy profesor, and Cara, you wanted to say, well, I am a student. Yo soy estudiante. Muy bien. We've come across yo before, but perhaps not in that particular circumstance. So, en qué trabajas, the question, means literally, in what do you work? Or what do you work as? Now, when we were learning the names for particular professions, we didn't obviously cover everything that we possibly could have covered, and we've no doubt that many of you haven't exactly learned the words that are going to help you say what you do. But this might help, because what we're going to do is learn how to say, I work in, for example, a factory or an office. So, if trabajas means you work, trabajo means I work. Trabajo. 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 Okay. Trabajo en. I work in. And we're going to add a few other phrases here. So we might have una tienda. Una tienda. Una tienda. Una tienda. Una tienda is the word for a shop in most Spanish-speaking countries. Una tienda. So to say I work in a shop, what would you say, Cara? Trabajo en una tienda. Trabajo en una tienda. Trabajo en una tienda. Muy bien. So, una tienda, a shop. What about if you work in a factory? A factory is una fábrica. Una fábrica. Una fábrica. Una fábrica. So, a factory is where you fabricate things. So, una fábrica. Una fábrica. How would you say, I work in a factory? Trabajo en una fábrica. En una fábrica. Trabajo en una fábrica. Muy bien. A couple of other things here. Maybe you work in an office. Una oficina. Una oficina. Una oficina. Una oficina. So, I work in an office. Trabajo en una oficina. Trabajo en una oficina. Trabajo en una oficina. Muy bien. Trabajo en una oficina. I work in an office. So, we've had una tienda. Una tienda. Shop. Una fábrica. Una fábrica. A factory. Una oficina. Una oficina. Uh, an office. What about, what do you think, un restaurante? would mean a restaurant a restaurant so un restaurante un restaurante 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 un restaurante un restaurante i work in a restaurant trabajo en un restaurante 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 okay in spanish it's spelled almost exactly as, as in english with an extra e on the end but the A-U sound in the middle sounds like au. 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 Restaurante. 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 Trabajo en un restaurante. Trabajo en un restaurante. Muy bien. Trabajo en un restaurante. One final one here. Maybe you work in a hospital. Un hospital. Un hospital. Trabajo en un hospital. Trabajo en un hospital. 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 Trabajo en un hospital. Trabajo en un hospital. Muy bien. 
Hopefully, those jobs and those workplaces will allow you to say where you work. One final part of this particular lesson, and that is the question, Te gusta tu trabajo? Te gusta tu trabajo? Te gusta tu trabajo? Well, what's tu trabajo, first of all? Your work. Your work or your job. Te gusta means do you like. Te gusta. Te gusta. Te gusta tu trabajo. Te gusta tu trabajo. Mm -hmm. So to say, yes, I like it, you would say, sí, me gusta mi trabajo. Sí, me gusta mi trabajo. Me gusta mi trabajo. Me gusta mi trabajo. If you don't like it, you say, no, no me gusta mi trabajo. No, no me gusta mi trabajo. No me gusta mi trabajo. No me gusta mi trabajo. So I don't like my, my job. And you can say, no, no, no me gusta mi trabajo. I don't like my job. No, no me gusta mi trabajo. No, no me gusta mi trabajo. Okay. Now, before we finish, there's two other things I want to tell you about. One is, if you don't work at all, you can say, I don't work. So, I work is trabajo. Trabajo. How do you say, Cara, I don't work? No trabajo. No trabajo. So you stick the no in front of the verb. No trabajo. No trabajo. So if you don't work, you can say no trabajo. No trabajo. Or perhaps you're retired. And if that's the case, you use this word. Jubilado. 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 Estoy jubilado. Estoy jubilado. Or if you're female... Estoy jubilada. Estoy jubilada. Now, you may well be wondering why that's estoy and not soy. And that's something that I'm afraid we're not going to cover in this lesson because it's a wee bit complicated. We'll be covering that in a future lesson. Just for the time being, learn estoy jubilado as a piece of vocabulary. So, estoy jubilado. Estoy jubilado. Or estoy jubilada. Estoy jubilada. We've covered lots and lots in today's lesson and you'll get the chance to revise all this in the Top Up podcast, which we'll be telling you about in a moment. ¿Qué tal hoy? Bien, regular, fatal? Hopefully you found lesson seven phenomenal. It's difficult to cover all the vocabulary you may need to talk about your job. And with so many of you listening, it would be impossible to cover everything. So in this week's Top Up podcast, you'll be learning some extra words to talk about jobs, and I'll be helping you revise today's new words and phrases. You can download the revision podcast from our website at www.coffeebreakspanish.com. This is also where you will find the PDF guide for this week's show. That's all for this week. We'll be back with more Coffee Break Spanish next time. In the meantime, muchas gracias otra vez y hasta la próxima lección de Coffee Break Spanish. Gracias a todos y hasta pronto. If you're learning Spanish with Coffee Break Spanish, don't forget that you can get much more out of your Coffee Break Spanish experience by becoming a premium member. You can sign up for a bronze, silver, gold or platinum membership and, depending on which membership you go for, you can get access to lesson guides explaining all the vocabulary and language points covered, transcripts of all dialogues included in our lessons, Enhanced podcasts, which provide synchronized flashcards for use on iPods and iPhones, extra listening materials in the form of top-up podcasts, and for our Platinum members, there are word lists for each group of lessons, worksheets and answer keys, access to abridged versions of the show to speed up your learning, and comprehensive Coffee Break Spanish dictionaries. Full details, including pricing, are available at mycoffeebreakspanish.com. This podcast was brought to you by the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at www.radiolingua.com.